Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, uh, Midwest Adventure Life. And today we're gonna talk about how to get the best TV signal in your RV. Uh, we generally aren't TV people, but if you're out camping and you get caught on a rainy day, sometimes it's nice, or you wanna unwind and watch some local news, uh, we're gonna show you how to best get those TV stations uh, when you're out camping. So. so some campgrounds have cable. If you're lucky enough to have cable, great. You're gonna plug the cable into your box and into your hookup on your RV, and you're gonna do a scan on your TV, and you're gonna pick for cable stations. Most campgrounds don't have cable. I've been to a handful of them, but let's, so today we're talking about antenna TV. If you're not aware, this is your antenna. You're literally gonna crank it up. Now some RVs don't have this style antenna and they've got more of a, a round and they're, they're an omnidirectional antenna. This one is more bi-directional, so it's, it's gonna pick up stations from one side to the other side of the antenna, unlike the round ones, which basically you don't have to adjust and you don't have to raise. So if you have one of those, you can, uh, you can skip this step. The next step, which some people don't know, is if you pull this ring down, you can actually rotate the antenna. So if you were outside looking, the antenna would be rotating, and we'll show that in a minute. So what I do is open up this app on my phone, it's called Digital TV Antennas. If you open up this app, and I'll share a screenshot with the app, it'll give you arrows to where the where your local where the local TV stations are coming from or the signal is coming from. I'll scroll through, and if there's a specific station you're looking for, you can aim it that way, or I'll find the bulk of them are aiming this way. So I'll kind of look at the arrows, and there's an arrow up on here, and I'll aim it that way. It's crude, I understand, but I've had pretty good luck with just following the little arrow on here and aiming the little arrow on the phone from the app, and uh, I've had good luck. The next step we're gonna show you over here. So the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna find this looking panel somewhere. Sometimes it's got a cigarette lighter outlet, sometimes it's got some other sort of um, antenna plug on it, but at the end of the day, it's got this tiny little switch and a red light. These are pretty commonly found on most manufacturer RVs. What you wanna do is turn that on. This is your antenna signal booster. Without it on, you really won't get anything. So before I've even done a channel scan, I'm already getting a TV station, okay? So just by doing those two things. Now what I would always recommend when you're done, again, this is always gonna depend differently on what type of TV you got, but what I would always suggest is go to your menu on your TV and you're gonna go to channels and you're gonna do auto channel search. Again, this is gonna depend on your TV, but these are pretty basic features and pick antenna and let it do its process because every time you move campgrounds or you move that antenna, it's always gonna pick up different channels. So let it rescan. This could sometimes could take a matter of a few minutes. Sometimes it takes 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how many channels are in your area. But when you're all done, uh, you'll probably get, you know, if, if, you, if you've got a couple cities around you, you might get 20, 30 channels. Generally speaking, when I'm camping, I get more TV than I've got at home. Um, so there, you've already got six channels and you're, you're just started the, the search. So let it do its thing. And again, when you, when you re-land it, land at a different campground, you'll wanna do these steps again, because every time you move, it's different. It'd be like moving your house to different locations, you're always gonna have different uh, TV signals from different directions. So the last thing you wanna do when you leave camp is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you line up those arrows back to where they line up. See, there's an arrow on the ceiling and there's an arrow here. Line them up and then make sure you lower it down. You'll feel it and hear it when it hits. There it is, it's down. So if you leave that up as you're leaving uh, camp, you'll, you'll probably only do it once because you'll be looking for a new antenna or you'll be replacing it with the bi-directional ones. Uh, again, these are pretty common on a lot of different manufacturer RVs as well as the antenna booster. The antenna booster is generally found in one of the cabinets near a TV. Um, but again, common thing that's forgotten is to turn that on. People think, well, I don't need a booster. Well, when it's off, you don't get anything. When it's on is the only way these things really work. Um, and then go ahead and do a channel search. So if you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the campgrounds.